With the rank amount, you can figure out, based on a person's score, where they rank in a list. So this player in a game had the highest score with the rank of 1. We also have a list that tells us that the person with the rank of 1 would get a $10 prize. And a person who's rank 3 gets $8. But in some cases there might be a tie. Here we have two people who are ranked 4th. They have the same score and the prize for that position is 7 fifth place would get six dollars. Now we don't have anyone at fifth place because we have two people at fourth. So what will happen here is they would take the prize amounts for fourth and fifth place, add them up, so that's thirteen dollars, and each person would get half of that for six fifty. So we want to calculate a formula that will figure out if there's a tie, how to split the prize money. It could be two, three, more than that, people sharing a rank. To do this, we're going to use the average. So if we, in our case, we have people splitting this amount, so the average of that amount would be 6.5. So we're going to use the average function. And we have to tell it what to average. To figure out which cells in this prize table to average, we're going to use the offset function. With this, we tell it where to start building a range. So our reference is going to be this header for the prize column, and I'll press F4 to lock that cell reference in, and then a comma. And how many rows down from this heading should it go to start the range that it's going to average? So if we look at the rank, if it's a rank of 1, it should go down one row to where the first ranking starts. If it's a rank of 6, it would go down 6 rows. So to tell it how many rows to go down, we're going to click on the rank cell, and then a comma. And next is how many columns over should it go, and we don't want it to go out of this column, so we'll put a zero there. And then the final thing we're going to do is tell it the height, which is how many rows to use. And that's the number of people at that rank. So if there are three people, then it would grab three numbers from this prize column. To count the people with the rank, we can use count if and an open bracket and the range that it's going to do the counting in is the rank column. C2 to C11, I'll press the F4 key to lock that in, and then a comma, and the criteria, what do we want it to count in this rank column, and that's the rank in the current row. So I'll put a bracket to close the count, bracket to close the offset, the bracket to close the average. So the top prize is 10. And when I copy this down, everyone gets their prize. So the 10th place gets a dollar. The two who are tied for fourth each get 650 because they're sharing fourth and fifth prize amounts.